Yo, hey guys, what's up? This is Yadavir Singh, and today I'm going to talk about what to do if she shows resistance. And before moving forward, I really want you to guys to subscribe to this channel because it's been so much time you have been coming and visiting and getting the value out of it. So it's time to receive some value back. So subscribe to this channel because I'm going to come up with amazing content every week. So let's start with our topic for the day. So what to do if she shows resistance? First of all, understand this thing, guys. Resistance, everyone shows it. Everyone is having resistance within them because we need it. The resistance, as we know, is the power of saying no to something. Okay? I want to get close to her, but I'm afraid. So no, I won't get close to her. So you are resisting that person. I want to go and talk to her, but I'm afraid. So I won't go and talk to her. You are resisting your desire. Same way, she may be interested in you, but just because you came out of nowhere, started talking to her, so she may be resisting that intimacy. So resistance, as we know it, is our inherent power to say no to something. But sometimes, this power starts showing up at places where we don't really need it. So why do women actually show resistance whenever you go and talk to them? We can never expect from women to just open their legs and just like, fuck me the moment we just go and talk to them. How will it look like if you're like, excuse me, hi, I really like the way you were standing over here, so I thought I should just come and say hi. She's like, oh my God, I'm fucking impressed. Come, let's have sex. No. If there is no resistance, there is no reward. If there is no resistance, there is no building up. So resistance is very much needed when it comes to male to female dynamics. See, seducers play with resistance because See, I know if I go and start talking to a woman, resistance is going to come up. And if there is no resistance, it's not interesting at all. I am not going to like the interaction at all if she doesn't resist, if she doesn't throw some shit to me. If it's just too easy for me to be with her, to get her, uh, I won't be with her. If I have to tell you in a really brief way, resistance shows up either when you are not in the right kind of environment or you are not with the right kind of people or you are not in the right kind of mindset. If there is a woman and you started talking to her and she is showing you resistance, the main problem will be either the environment is not right, you are not the right kind of person she wants to talk to or her mindset in which she is in today is not right. You need to figure it out if you actually want to deal with resistance. Okay? Once you have understood why she is showing you resistance at that point of time. It's not me, it's because of the environment. The environment is too stimulating for her and she cannot handle it. She's getting intimidated by the environment. She is resisting the environment and just because I'm standing in front of her, that resistance is transferring towards me. Or second reason, the resistance is coming from me. She was having fun when she was standing alone. The moment I entered, she's being resistant towards me and this resistance that is coming from me to her is now traveling towards the environment. Now she doesn't even want to stay in the environment or her mindset is that of resistance. She never wanted to come out of her home. She wanted to stay in her bed at the first place. So her mindset is that of resistance. So that means she's not just resisting the environment. She's not just resisting the guy. She's resisting being with herself also. She doesn't want to be with herself. That means the kind of thoughts, images, memories, voices that are being played inside her head, she doesn't want that. So the resistance towards her own mind, her own self is being reflected everywhere. But what if the guy who's talking to her takes the blame every time that this resistance is because of me. Why the fuck? Why every time I go and start talking to women, there is resistance everywhere? Guys, always expect resistance. No one's life is perfect. That's why resistance is going to be there that why my life is not perfect. So it's going to show up in different environments in front of different people. So always be ready for resistance and play with it. So imagine some woman is like, I don't like you. That's a resistance. But what do I do then? She'll like, fuck, she doesn't like me. Okay, bye. No. She's like, I don't like you. I'm like, why do you want to like me? I just played back. It's like tennis. She just threw ball at me and I just threw it back at her. And she's like, uh, now she wants to find out the right answer. But there is no right answer to it. We are not competing with each other. So resistance is going to hurt you only when you are in a competitive frame with other person. Otherwise, if I really care about someone, if I really like someone and they are showing resistance, I'm going to play with it. I'm, I'll try to change their mood. 
not their mind. I don't want to change her mind about how she thinks about me. I want to change her mood about how she feels about where she is at that moment. So here is the answer to your question. Whenever resistance comes in, most of the guys are trying to change her mind. But the only way to deal with resistance is never change her mind, change her mood. Because the mind follows the mood. So you change the mood, the mind changes. But if you try to change the mind, the mood changes. And if the mood is fucked up, more resistance is going to come in your way. So seducers know that and seducers know how to play with resistance. So if you have really liked this video and if you came to know about how to deal with resistance, why is it there, from where is it coming and how to deal with it, then give me a thumbs up and you know guys what? I'm going to go for fucking Bali immersion in the last week of April. I'm going to Bali for seven days and we are going to do a lot of frame controlling, a lot of gaming over there, a lot of self-realization stuff and women as well. Filled with fucking women. So if you have liked this video, give me a thumbs up and if you want to know more about Bali Immersion, there is the email ID given in the description box below. Just mail me and I'll send you all of the info. Until next time, motherfuckers.